guys i hope you're doing fantastically well it's a bit dark here in this room i put my ring light here and uh, i'm trying to just share this thought i just had with you guys i hope i hope i hope you're doing fantastically well so my name is naris monka for those who don't know me so if you if it's your first time yes just 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 click on subscribe right now yes now not tomorrow not later just subscribe and like this video because you're gonna love it anyway so um guys about hairdressers i want to talk about hairdressers and clients that complain about braids or hairdressing services price they complain about braids prices specifically okay guys you have to understand that when you want to have your hair done you have to tick the box the box all right what chair do you want to sit on do you want to sit on an apprentice or with in someone that have a couple of years of experience or with someone with many years of experience that you have to tick those boxes don't just go on to do your hair if you care about yourself if you love yourself enough you have to care about who does your hair too because someone with lack of experience may damage your hair or scalp and leave you with traction alopecia. All right, guys? So when clients come to me and I give my price, sometimes they are very surprised. Sometimes they are so, 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 so delighted. You know why? Because certain people charge even more than I do. All right? And when I finish the services, they are, they are even happier because the service was five and a half star. I'm not selling myself here. I'm just trying to talk to everyone around the world, especially the Afro community. With your hair, you have to tick the boxes when you go to hairdressers. Where do you want to sit on? Do you want to sit to an apprentice chair? To someone with many years of experience? You tell me what do you want, guys? It's so important because the management of your hair comes into account is a key when it comes to braids. Is the key the management of your hair? If you don't manage properly, hair hair will break. It will break excessively. Yes, it's true that a human being loses fifty to hundred strands of their hair every day. But if you don't braid properly, then you will lose 10 times more. So you don't want that. You don't want the traction alopecia due to the tightness of the braid. All of that comes to an account. So that's why I wanted to make this video, guys. I don't really know where to look at, but I'm looking everywhere. I don't know if it's here. I think it's there, yes, that I have to look. So it's very important. Care about yourself. Look after yourself. Minimize the premature breakage and choose the best hairdressers that you can think of. If you are low on budget, that's fine, all right? Save money, a bit of money, and go to someone that will actually manage your hair properly because hair is precious. Hair is so precious and you have to take care of it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want me to do a video in a particular um, in particular area or subject, please just give me your suggestion and uh, I will do it as soon as possible. I hope, I hope, I hope you're keeping well and peace. I love you. Bye-bye.